And good evening, everyone. All right, this is a live picture coming to us from K4 in Oklahoma City. And this is the tornadic thunderstorm supercell going on right now that has prompted a tornado warning till 645 for South Central Oklahoma County and North Central Cleveland County in Central Oklahoma. The main hazards here are going to be, of course, the tornado and golf ball sized hail. And they are concerned about flying debris. They're also concerned about, uh, of course, tornadic wind damage. Southern Oklahoma City in, in the path of the storm, Western Norman Moore, Stanley Draper, and uh, Tinker Air Force Base is also uh, in the path of that storm. And that is a classic supercellular thunderstorm that you're looking at. A lot of uh, typical structure that you would see. And here are some pictures, I believe, from the K4 website of some of the damage. And this is going to be around... Uh, more, if I'm not uh, mistaken, correct? Is that what it is? Yeah, so it's in the Moore area, or Moore Norman, Norman area. Sorry, Norman area. Bridge Creek and News Newcastle, okay. All right, Bridge Creek and Newcastle is where we're seeing this damage, these damaged pictures coming out of. So uh, they had a large tornado on the ground. In fact, at one point it was described to be a wedge tornado, and right now we still have the tornado warning going on. That's just south of Oklahoma City, but even Oklahoma City, the southern half of that is in the tornado warning. And then this green strip here, believe it or not, it's uh, likely the air that's flowing out from this thunderstorm, uh, maybe even the tops of the clouds coming off the top of it, just because the winds aloft are so strong and blowing that up right up Interstate 44. The direction and the movement on the storm now is kind of to the east and to the northeast. In fact, this part here has just been added to that tornado warning as the storm has shifted up to the north a little bit there near 77 Highway, and that is just south and east of Moore. So there's Moore, and they're kind of in the hail core right now, and then Norman would be south of that main cell. So it's kind of splitting those two cities at this time as it moves toward Clothier in about five minutes. So that'd be the next community that would have the potential for some damage. And then as we put it into motion, you can see it's slowly climbing. And this goes till 645, and you can see the small area that it's, uh, that it's, that it's covering. So my thought is, and just looking at some of the high resolution rapid refresh modeling that we're looking at, is that it moves up Interstate 44 and weakens, but we do see a thunderstorm off of that, this whole complex here that's kind of growing around the Oklahoma City area. We do see that move into Tulsa at about 10 o'clock tonight. It doesn't appear it will be as strong. And we may have some gusty winds and maybe some hail with it, but we'll keep an eye on it. But it should not be tornadic when it gets up here. In fact, the high-res future track takes it up to the north and west. So this is probably not modeling it uh, correctly as it moves up to the north and east. So there you go. Tulsa future track, some thunderstorms into the overnight hours. Jamie, did you say a minute? Down to a minute? Okay, so we got to hurry up here in our forecast. All right, next 24 hours then go like this. So the Oklahoma City storm is here at about 10 p.m. tonight. Uh, tomorrow morning, it's dry, cloudy, humid, and by noontime, we're back up to 75 degrees. It's cloudy and warm at 3 o'clock, and then tomorrow night, some scattered thunderstorms are possible. The severe weather threat tomorrow, uh, not a, again, probably a slight to marginal risk for us, but we have better chances for severe weather Saturday and Sunday, as you'll notice here. 78 tomorrow, 50% chance for a few morning showers and then late afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Friday, 60% chance of rain, 83. Saturday, Sunday, I've turned that yellow light on, 70% chance for rain and thunderstorms. Mainly Saturday morning and again Saturday evening. The main threat Sunday comes in Sunday night, and I'm really concerned about Sunday being a, a big day for us because there are indications that could be a, a strong part of the storm system moving through Sunday. Then Monday, the winds are out of the north. It's refreshingly cool and beautiful next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Of course, we'll continue to watch those uh, the tornadic thunderstorm out around Oklahoma City. We'll have updates throughout the evening and, of course, tonight at 10. Two News at 6 continues with sports right after this.